So we have 20 students that come here every day, Monday through Friday. All of the students in our program are Latino youth, and they're in pre-K through fifth grades. For the most part, the students who come to our program have an achievement gap. They speak Spanish in their homes, so some of them came to school not speaking English. That immediately sets them back a bit because they're learning English on top of learning how to read, learning math, learning all of the same things their grade level peers are learning. I wanted the highest quality programming for our kids. Allison and Henny are known in the community for their talents and their work. We're very proud of, of them they, as, as Latinos. They connected us to the Pittsburgh Center for the Arts, talked about the artist in residency program. It, I mean, it just clicked from there. We wanted to expose the children to art and artists through the lens of culture. love for them to to realize how wonderful their 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 songs and their culture and their traditions are and just like find that connection so if they ever feel like they don't belong they have something to connect to you want them to be fully bilingual to keep their roots intact so that's what this program does, is it, it shows our, our kids that you come from these beautiful countries with this beautiful culture, and you can continue that here in the United States. I think that it's really important for young, young children to have access to the arts, so that they become just comfortable um, creating, they get comfortable getting their ideas from their minds out into the world. When they're manipulating objects to form a new thought or form a new idea, um, those thought processes go, uh, it, it, they become more internalized. They remember the information more. It's much more effective to teach kids through hands-on art making than it is for them just to tell them about the experience or just show them pictures. So the school has almost 400 children and about 20% of the students speak Spanish as their first language. We need more Spanish speakers in every walk of life. And I say we have a population right here in our own schools if we would grow it. And if we grow this population, these are the people who will be working in Pittsburgh and will be bilingual. Soy Pittsburgh stands for supporting our youth, Pittsburgh. In Spanish, soy means I am. So it really translates to like I am Pittsburgh. Uh, because our youth and our kids, they are. They're Pittsburgh. One of the things I would say about Pittsburgh Center for the Arts is one of the main reasons that we ever got into the partnership was because we wanted to do something that would unite our community. We not only had a Spanish-speaking population, but we had we have a lot of different students from lots of different countries coming to Beachwood. So arts was one of the ways we wanted to build this uh, unity. And in the last 10 years, we have produced, you know, unbelievable art. Today we were painting a mask and we were looking at a paper to see what mask or we are gonna do. They, they look fantastic. Um, and we compared them to the original folk art um, masks compared to what they made and they, they nailed it. It was really good. The Artist in Residency program has been a wonderful experience for Beachwood School. Um, that's why we keep doing it. <laughs>